Rainbow Ink! Hey guys and welcome back to Rainbow Ink. Today we are jumping back into the world of Athenator and Pokemon. Today we are doing the Paradox form Pokemon. In my last Athenator video and the Gen 9 video to be precise, I said I wasn't going to do any Paldea forms because there's literally only three if you count the Tauros of course. Um, so instead we're going to do the Paradox forms. So similar to the Mega Evolutions, the Galarian forms, Alola forms, and also everything that happened within Hisui. I picked three random ones that I just, well, like, so we're gonna go from there. If you wanna play this game, as always, it will be in the link in the description below if you guys like, like to check it out and see if we can get more Pokemon in the system. Because last time, he didn't get any, but at least we saw with Skull Villain that it's in there, or at least in the coding, and maybe the starters too, but you get my point. So it's been another month since that video came out and from when I recorded the other one. So let's see if more Gen 9's in here, especially the Paradox form, so he can at least get one little win. I don't want the videos to get too boring for you guys because he doesn't get it. Because the last couple videos, he hasn't really got it. Also, when we do get into the game, there is going to be a rainbow box underneath me. That is to the get rid of ads because I can't get rid of all the ads on the website. So that's to cover them up. And also they give a pretty background for the picture that I choose for the character. But anyways, let's jump into the game, see if he knows Paradox Pokemon. Alright, we're in the game. So like I said in the intro, I just picked my favorite three Paradox Pokemon. I'm a little biased because I had Pokemon Violet instead of Scarlet, but there is one from Scarlet and there's two from Violet, which the first one is from Pokemon Violet, which is Iron Jugulence, aka the Paradox form of Hydragon. So there's that. One thing I kind of didn't talk about in the the intro was about gender and also about height and like how big or how small they are. We'll get to it when it gets to, we get there, but I'm pretty sure with most of the Paradox Pokemon they don't have a gender because they can't breed. There's that. And our first question, of course, is is your character a boy? The gender ratio is unknown. Like I just said, it's probably they don't have them. And with unknown and with 50-50, which is going to say, I don't know, and go from there. Is your character from Roblox? No. Does your character walk on two legs? I think it has legs, but it only flies. So I'm going to say no. Even though it does have legs, it just flies. Okay, does your character have legs? Yes, it does have, it looks like two legs in the back, but they don't get used. I don't know why, but it looks like the two legs in the back next to its tail. So I'm going to say yes, but it doesn't use its legs. It hovers and flies. Oh, fifth question. Is your character a Pokemon? Technically, yes, it's a Paradox Pokemon, but yeah, it's a Pokemon. Is your Pokemon small? Um, its height is... 4-3, and it's 244.7 pounds. Um, I'm gonna say probably not, because there's a way you can interpret it small, but that's a heavy boy. Does your character have paws? I don't see it. It only has le legs. It doesn't have hands. It doesn't have front feet. No. It doesn't even have hands. Does your character have a scar on their face? No, it's not Scar from the Lion King. Can your character fly? Yes, it flies, hovers, whichever you wish to say. It's also a flying type. Is your character a legendary? No, it's a paradox. Is your character linked with an insect? No, it is not a bug type, nor does it look like an insect in that regard. Is your character poison? No. I'm assuming that's meaning like it's not a poison type. That's how I'm characteristing it. Is your character less than 15 years old? Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna say actually, I don't know. It's from the future. We don't know when in the future, but it's in the future. Does your character have a break? Um, no. I don't even know what that means. Or right, is your character half animal? Pokemon are really are symbols off of animals, and the Hydra is what Hydragon is listed after. It's supposed to be a robot, so I'm gonna say probably not again. Does your character have wings? Yes, it has like it's like thin wings, but yes, they're wings. I would consider them more like wings. Does your character have blue skin? See here, its body is primarily dark blue with black armor. I'm gonna say probably because it's black and blue and most of like pink and purple. Is your character a dragon? Dragon. It is actually a dark flying type. It is modeled after a dragon, like I've said dozens of times before, but I'm gonna say no, it's not a dragon. Even though it does look like a dragon. Does your character have magical hair? No, this is not Rapunzel. Is your character a bat? No. Does your character walk on four legs? No. Does he even walk? Is your character in... 
No. I'm very confused now. Is your character from Godzilla? No. Does your character have feathers? I don't think so because it's like metal, so no. Did your character permanently change their appearance? Well, it can change its appearance when it's shiny, but I'm gonna say no, because it's shiny is like completely silver. Okay, I'm thinking of Aerodactyl. No, he didn't get it right, and we are not continuing. Okay, let's see if it's on the list. Okay, I see a hot dragon. I see the normal one, I don't see a paradox. Okay, my character does not appear on this list. Oh joy. This is gonna be like Gen 9 all over again. Okay. I will admit, I do kind of like some of the names, but not all of them. Okay, okay, here we go. Who are you thinking about? If you find your character on the list below, we'll yep, it's right here. So it seems it is in the system. Bravo, you've defeated me. Play again? Yes. So it seems like school villain, it's in the system, but didn't get it right. Okay, so our next character that I chose, and I'm a sucker, I'm basic, whatever you want to say. This one's from Scarlet, which is Roaring Moon. I really like Roaring Moon's design, like everyone does. It very much reminds me of Salamence's Mega Evolution, which supposedly Mega Evolution is supposed to be in the game, so maybe for DLC, who knows. Okay, is your character from the game Roblox? No. Does your character have a human head? I'm gonna say no, it's more like a lizard. Does your character have animal ears? Does he even have ears? It just has spikes on either side of its head, so I'm gonna say no. It doesn't even look like it has ears. It just has spikes on the side of its head. Does your character stand on two legs? Actually, no. It stands on all four. So, no. When it comes down to rest, it's all four. Is your character originally from a video game? Yes. Pokemon Scarlet, to be precise. Is your character bad? Um, I don't know. It came from the past. Is your character from a horror game? No. No offense, I would expect um, Roaring Moon to be at least in the system like Iron Judgments would because I know Roaring Moon is a very popular character. Does your character have a mouth? Yeah, it has a mouth. Does your character have a tail? Yes. It has a tail, but it's like underneath its wing. But yes, it has a tail. Okay, 10th question. Is your character a Pokemon? Yes. Is your character a legendary? No. Paradoxes aren't legendaries. Sorry, dude. Does your character have anything to do with fire? I believe it can learn a fire type move, but it is a it is a dragon dark type, so no. Does your character live in water? No, it lives in a cave in area zero. Has your character been a ghost? No. Does your character have large claws? Let's see how big its claws are. Three long claws. I'm gonna say properly, because it says long and not large. Can your character fly? Yes. Does your character walk on four legs? Yes. Gets out on all fours. Has your character appeared in the Pokemon TV anime series? No, not yet. They haven't done Gen 9 because we're supposedly getting a new person. Rika, Ash is gone. Does your character have red wings? Oh my god, is he gonna get it? Like, I'm getting hyped. Is he gonna get it? Like, it's underneath his red, so yeah. Does your character float in the air? Probably. Oh my god, is he gonna get it? Is your character from the Paldea region? Yeah? Are you gonna get it? He got one! It's been months since you finally got one. It's in the system. He's shown it to me. He finally got one. I figured this one's very popular. I figured it would be in the system. Yes. Roaring Moon. Good for you, bud. You finally got one. Great. Yes. Right one more time. Roaring Moon. This character's only been played 85 times. That doesn't make sense. It's been four months. So good job, bud. Let's play it again. All right, like last video, I'm sorry if the camera angles or anything now seems weird. My camera battery died. Why is it always when I'm filming after the videos, my camera battery dies? I don't know why. Anyways, our last character, it's a very popular character like Roaring Moon. It's found in the same spot within the Violet Games where the Roaring Moon can be found in Scarlet, which is Iron Variant. I really like this Pokemon because it combines both of the, because it combines both of Glade and Gardevoir in this, and I just really like it. Don't say weird things in the comments, please. Okay, does your character stay on two legs? Yes. Is your character evil? I'm gonna say I don't know. It works. AI professor who turns evil because of the machine, but I'm gonna say I don't know. Is your character from a horror game? No. Does your character have hair? There's pieces on its head that resemble his hair, but they're metal, so I'm gonna say no. Like actual real hair? No. Does your character wear clothes? It looks like it's wearing a skirt, but it's not. I'm gonna say no. Does your character have a tail? I don't think so, and I don't think the part that looks like a dress 
should be considered a tail so i'm just gonna go ahead and say no is your creator a robot pretty much yes it is a robot but um, it's still a pokemon so i'm just gonna say probably but most likely it is a robot because all well, the paradox pokemon and violator are from the future robot if and all the pokemon scarlet's from the past is your creator made on metal um yeah pretty much yeah but still pokemon somehow is your creator from a shooting game does your character fight? Yeah, we've seen it in battle before with the AI Professor Taurus battle at the end of the game. Sorry, spoilers for Violet. And I know a lot of people get to use it on their team. And it's also a fighting type, so I'm going to say yes. Does your character play Happy Wheels? No. Is your character often dancing? No. Is your character from the sh No? I'm surprised you haven't asked if it's a Pokemon. Does your character fight with a sword? But yeah, I fight with like a sword or a spear. It's the same thing pretty much. So yeah. Is your character huge? It's like I'm most likely gonna say no. Is your character small? Again, four, seven, that's somewhere in the middle, so I'm just gonna say no. Is your character from a mobile game? No. Does your character have green hair? It has a green head, but it does not have hair. So I'm just gonna say no. Is your character linked with Nintendo? Yes. Okay, took you 20 questions, finally. Is your character a Pokemon? Pokemon. Yes. Does your character have something to do with fire? No, it's a fairy fighting type. Does your character have a robotic arm? It's literally pretty much a robot, but I'm gonna say probably. Is your character part of a children's TV show? No, because it has not even been on the anime yet. Okay, um, 24. Is your character from the Padea region? Yes. Is your character an evolution? No, it does not evolve into anything and it doesn't have an evolution. Well, I wanted him to win. I'm thinking of Iron Variant. Yeah, you got it. So it seems now it works. It's here. I figured Roaring Moon and Iron Variant would have to be in here eventually, or would be the first ones in here, because they're very, very popular. So yeah, he got two out of th three. It's better than his last videos, like with the first with Gen 9 and with, with Megas and everything else. So good for you, bud. Good for you. All right. Well, he got two out of three, which is way better than what he's normally gotten, which good on him, of course. I think for the moment, this is where our Paldea slash Gen 9 adventure ends until we get the DLC. But hey, maybe in the DLC, they might give us another Paldea form Pokemon. And then maybe I'll do the regional forms of this generation. But if not, then it's not happening. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. He got two out of three correct, guys. It's been a long time if you finally got something correct. Again, if you want to play the game and get more of Gen 9 in here and also more Paradox and any character you want to see if he knows, the game will be in the link description below, like always. And yeah, please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to know when I upload. I usually upload on Fridays or on random videos in the week. It's just my preference. Last video right there, subscribe right beneath me and also Akinator playlist so you can see how this adventure all started is up there and also will be in the link description below with a Pokemon playlist and I'll see you guys next time here on Rainbow Link. Bye!